What's going on guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up your very own free minecraft server using Eternals. Now if you're new here make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and drop a like as it really helps the channel grow and bring out these useful tutorials for you guys. With that being said, the first thing that you want to do is head over to Eternals.org. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description. On the home page look for the play button in the top right corner and then click on it. If you don't see it right away just scroll down a little bit and it'll pop right up. Next you'll need to log in if you already have an account if not just click on sign up choose a username for me i'll use dr glitch agree to the terms of service and privacy policy then set a password if you want you can also add an email once that's done you'll land on the service page and this is where all the magic happens you can create multiple servers but since this is a brand new account we're gonna start fresh first click on create a server now choose which version of minecraft you want java or bedrock edition most people play java but you can pick the one you use then give your server a unique name if the name's already taken you're gonna have to try another one i'll stick with dr glitch since it's available you can also customize the description the colors and even the welcome message once everything looks good hit create and then boom your server is now live once you're on this screen, on the left hand menu, you'll see a bunch of different options to customize your server where you can change game settings like turning monsters on or off, setting the number of player slots or enabling flying. The console option lets you run commands like slash op once a server is running. You can also view server details on logs, see who's connected on players. You can also switch to mods or plugins if you want to expand later. Files will let you access and edit server files. Worlds lets you upload custom worlds, generate new ones or use a seed. Backups are for saving your server's progress. And if you want, you can also give other Eternals users permission to manage your server. Now let's turn it on. Go to the service tab and at the top, click start. Accept the Minecraft EULA and enable notifications if you'd like. It may take a couple of minutes to boot up. When it's ready, you'll hear a ding and see your status as online. Quick note, if anybody joins for a while, Eternals will automatically shut the server down, so keep that in mind. To join, just copy the server address from Eternos, then open Minecraft on the same version as your server. For example, if your server is running 1.21.8, your game needs to be on 1.21.82. In Minecraft, go to multiplayer and click on add server and then paste the IP with Ctrl plus V. Hit done and your free server will show up in the list with your custom name. Double click on it and you're in. And that's pretty much it. You've just created your own free Minecraft server with Eternos. From here, you can add mods, plugins, and so much more. If this tutorial helped you out, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more guides. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.